you'll notice the pictures on the stones actually I didn't uh, I'm really just oh so yeah how incredibly misleading is that I mean when you think about what it said they go where the other was before it's almost stupidly obvious so how in the world do I open this door then I'm guessing this is something upcoming Oh well, well, the place is trained, so we can pick up a few of those treasures at least. Assuming we're not going to be ambushed straight away by a giant snake. Straight down we go, I suppose. Get that treasure behind the railing with Swain. I'm pretty sure we saw a treasure behind a railing in Ding Dong Well, didn't we? Ready? What have we got? Set of Storm Serpent Scales. Trick type intensified, so that makes my electric magic stronger, I suppose. Where were the other treasures down here anyway? There was one in the corner. Ah, oh, it's a purple chest. Never mind. See, it's stuff like that, that I'm just not going to remember. There's a page somewhere? Is it in the journal? Oh, telling stone? A yeah, dangerous place. It does say how complete things are. So I can just check and go back to them within well and a purple. Golden Grove has one of each at least. Temple of Trials is done. Old Smoky has one of each at least. And a couple more red ones as well apparently. So I don't know how I missed those. Uh, Mummy's Tummy's done. Tombstone Trail has a purple chest and a couple more reds. And where we are now, it's got more reds, more blues and more purples. It's all right, cool. Um, why is it telling me to go and stand over here? Or is it that down there, actually? Because I know there's a drawing on the ground. You triggered a Nyx trap. What's the point of it? Oh, there's a treasure here, isn't it? All right. Oh, that's annoying. Does this wear off? Can I heal it? Nyx be gone, don't I have? I've only got one. I'll go on. Want to open this? Be funny if this contained a Nyx be gone. Oh, the serpent key. Okay, so that'll be for that door. Uh, I think I will take the opportunity to quickly have a look for the other treasures, though. Can I have a quick look, see if that was all the blue chests in here. Nope, still says question mark. So there's a couple more blue chests at least, or at least one, even. Just songs we don't. Uh, walk across that serpent's gaze and turn back into frogs. I'm sure we should be fine. Oh. Battle first. Stay calm now! For... For the familiars. I was going to say NPCs, but we're not the NPCs, are they? Oh, no. It's my turn! This isn't cool. Does Nyx never wear off? Because this is incredibly frustrating. Let me try some hot stuff. This can't be! Oh, no way. Oh, what? Well, that was incredibly annoying. And there goes 3,000... Gilders. Well, do we still have the key or do we have to go pick it up? Oh, we still got the key. Ah, uh, let's just go straight for it. I feel like looking for treasures when we can't actually access them all is almost pointless. saying to the game that I'm ready, but I'm probably going to be flattened. Uh, 
Shall we go in? Shall we look for more treasures and level up a bit? You know what? I'll go get the treasures, do a few battles, try and level up a little bit more, just in case I can get some evolutions done. The only problem with the evolutions, obviously, though, is if I do that, they're going to drop their stats back to minimal. Obviously, they'll level up faster, and I'll be stronger overall when they're completely done, but... But yeah, so long as we're not nixed this time, it shouldn't be too bad. That petrification attack was horrible. Because at once, instant... It's instant KO, really, because as we saw there, you just game over if they're frozen and no one can do anything. Whoops. Roger! Here goes! Ah, come on! I keep getting stuck on enemies. Oh, yeah. Kill the silly man, Nice. We did it! Even one or two levels up, and one or two evolutions would be nice. See, that's not really that bad. We lost three grand for dying, but it's only ten battles worth. So how can I get to that? That's is that? It's just a red one. Is there a way behind there? The map seems to certainly suggest so, but I can't see a way behind there. Oh, this is one of the red, two red snakes. Come on! This isn't going to be fun, is it? Not the slab's dead, at least. That's not called slab. Mine's called slab. It's a megalith, normally. Oh, look. Golden glint. I'm not even going to get the chance to use it, am I? Oh, I am. Just about. I wonder if there are any Golden Glim related trophies in this game. Like, get a Golden Glim a hundred times or something. Hey, some level ups. Percival as well, which is always welcome. And Gunther. Uh, it's another Nyx trap, isn't it? No, I'm not going to chance it because that really messed us up last battle. <laughs> I don't think we've had a battle with this enemy yet. Obscuroboros. I know Ouroboros is like a... It's a mythical thing that's in many cultures and many fictional tales and whatever else. But to me, every time I hear Ouroboros, all I can think of is Resident Evil 5. I was the silly man. Because Ouroboros is obviously Wesker's plan to take over the world. It's all a bit daft. The whole plot of Resident Evil 5 is ridiculous. Here goes nothing! So, as a discussion point for this video, if you like, whilst I'm just battling away, um, you guys tell me games that you like that everybody else panned and criticised. I'm just curious because we were just talking about Resident Evil 5 briefly there. With Resident Evil 6, I really, really, really liked it. Uh, what are we calling this? Silly man. Uh, yeah, I really liked Resident Evil 6 and obviously the general consensus was that it was disappointing, poor, a complete mess. But yeah, I thought it was really, really good. It wasn't... Res it's it's hard to say that I, I liked it and then say I liked it but not as a Resident Evil game because a lot of people will just turn around and say, well, why like it then? I... It's tough, almost. To say why. Although it's incredibly ambitious, and it's a fantastic looking game. Is that it? I mean, there are the. I think the cutscenes, they're very flair, flair laden, and it's all very JJ Abrams, but. 
yeah, I really liked Resi 6. I don't know the fuss. I don't think the camera controls were that bad. The general controls, the ability to move and shoot at the same time were fantastically implemented. I thought, anyway. But yeah, like I'm saying, a lot of other people just didn't like it. And you guys drop some comments below. Let me know what you didn't like or did like even that other people didn't. So yeah, I'm just trying to do some conversation if you like whilst I kill these enemies. So other games I've I really liked that others didn't. Hmm. I'm gonna sort of try and casually glance at my game collection whilst playing this. Oh cool, Gogo can evolve. Wow, let's do this. He needs a, a Jumbo Moon Drop then, doesn't he? What's the difference? This one's good with light and not good against fire. And this one's good with lightning and not good against water. Uh, which one do we go for? Flurongo or Electrongo? Oh, and it's got different stats as well. Magic attack or magic defense, which would we rather? I'm gonna go magic defense because we like Gogo as a healer. Yeah, let's go for Flurongo. Flurongo looks like it's got some pretty badass eyebrows. And a little goatee as well. Yeah, he looks pretty angry. Oh, cool. Viva the Evolution. I'm just curious as to what that trophy is. Give me two seconds. Although if I check, it's going to sink, isn't it? Ah, to hell with it for now then. The stats have dropped big time. Man, I don't feed these guys anything. I really should get to feed them. I mean, look at all this stuff I've got now. Alright, have we got any attack increases for... <coughs> Percival. Growth limit is 8 out of 10 for Percival anyway. I'll give him this because it should increase his defence because it's 3 squares worth. Nice. Growth limit 10 out of 10. I'm guessing we can't increase him anyway. The Babana Flan I won't bother with then. Let's give a little Babana Flan to slab. Look at that defence stat, 206 already. 210 now. I'll give him a double one. Let's just give them all to slab just to really bolster his defense. Not that he really needs it. That's cool. I mean, no one else has even stats that are close to 200. Percival's attack is at 156, which is kind of close. Wow, Hot Stuff's got really good attack stat now, I never even noticed. Has he got... what's the magical attack like? What can we do to Gogo for now? Uh, magical defense increase. Oh wow, that's really good for magical defense. Let's give that to Gogo then. Magical defense increased by two. Game pie does massive accuracy increase. We don't need accuracy for Gogo, though, he's a healer. Well, whatever. beginning now aren't we? There's nothing here. I'm sure there was another chest somewhere. Here goes nothing. See now I'm worried that Gogo is just gonna be weak as hell. Let me look um Esther said hot stuff straight out. Chloroborus. 
complete global saturation. What can I say? It's a gift. I've been playing for a fair while today, so by the time you see this, it will probably be about four days' time. I'll go back down this way and have a quick look in the cell. Yeah, there was a treasure chest in here, wasn't there? No? Nothing written on the walls either. No slacking, you lot! See, I must admit, at the moment, I'm not in possession of a fantastic PC. I mean, it's perfectly fine, obviously, I can do what I need to do, but due to ridiculously slow render speeds and upload speeds, which aren't technically the computer's fault, oh, it is so frustrating at times. I'd love to be able to spew out video after video for you guys, but as it stands, if I want to record, say, a half an hour video, it will take half an hour to record, obviously, then it will take probably about an hour and a half to render it, just to render it. And when I do that, it absolutely cripples my PC to the point where I can barely do anything else, so I have to just abandon that. So I can't record whilst I'm rendering or anything like that. So... Imagine this, I've been playing for two hours today, say, whatever it's been coming up to now. An hour and a half per part to render, that's another six hours of render time. Just for what I've done today. Uh, upload per video, per half an hour video, takes about three hours. So just for the four parts today, that's another 12 hours. So that's already 18 hours. Plus the two for recording. So two hours of recording... To get it online takes about 20 hours total, which is just insane. So ideally what I want to do is when I get back to working, because at the moment I'm not working unfortunately, because that's the life of a tester, there's nothing to test, you don't work. So, But yeah, as soon as I start working, first thing I'm doing is getting a better PC. Upload speeds I can cope with because I can just stick four or five uploads on when I go to bed. I don't have to monitor it. I can set them all private so I can uh, tinker with the statistics. Uh, statistics. Uh, my brain's gone dead. I can tinker with all the, the titles and, and descriptions and whatever else in the morning when I wake up without any worries. But with rendering, I can set one to render and, you know, that's it. I can go to bed and then it will finish rendering in an hour and a half or whatever else and then just sit there until I come back to it. Which obviously isn't the end of the world but it would be nice if I could just put like four or five in one giant queue. Nice. But yeah, like I'm saying if I had a better PC I could just render them as fast as I could anyway. I'm not sure how fast exactly but I know someone who's got a, a MacBook and they can render videos seconds, literally. And whilst I don't really want a MacBook, just because I'm not a fan of iOS in general, you know, I want a good Windows PC or a Windows laptop at a push. I think I would quite like a laptop in the moment just because the idea of having a dedicated PC and a laptop so I can render, record, and whatever else all at the same time without having to, like I said, wait forever. I'm gonna die if you don't heal me. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm, ramb I'm rambling a bit. Um, the too long, didn't listen part. Um, I want a better PC because I want to render faster and I want to put more stuff up. Caramels. Ah, that Nick's trap. Mm -hmm. 
so this is the sort of reason why I wanted to do commentary because it's times like this where I, I really want to grind a bit that I've, I've kind of tried to dodge in the past simply because I know they wouldn't make for good videos but at the same time I don't want to cut anything out because I want this to be uncut and full but I mean I cut out a little bit in one of the earlier parts where I was doing a bit of monster hunting just because it was literally just that killing the same monster over and over and over and over oh, I'm petrified Ugh. I'm sending out hot stuff and this should be done Nice. Hope petrification doesn't carry over post battle because that will be incredibly frustrating. I'll have to use whatever to unpetrify myself. So we've gained a trick slot. Let's give him a new trick. Oh, he's got ear splitter equipped. What's enlighten? Boosting magical attack. I'll do heat ray. I never see so woof in battle which is kind of sad I mean I know behind hot stuff his appearance is kind of pointless I feel a bit bad for not using smitey anymore either I mean look at his stats compared to cat purse though 119 to 167 on attack like a bad defense though The same elements as Perloina. Dogo's attacks are pi uh, stats are picking back up again now, slowly but surely. See, how do we get to that that area? On, oh, the area on the right in this room where we thought we might hop across the. Tadpoles. I suppose we could do that with Oliver, can we? Yeah, we can. Uh -huh. It'll be how do we get to the. Ah, uh, no. We don't have any Nicks be gone, do we? And we don't have anything. Oh, chance it. Yeah, it's Nicks again, damn it. I think from here though we can make our way straight back to the the healing stone thing without encountering any enemies so this might not be so bad. A green man's cloak. I'm guessing that's some sort of... Why is nobody wearing the flame robes? Wait, Drongo, the Gogo can wear that then, can't he? Oh no, he can't. Or is it really only for hot stuff? 59 or 152. I'll put his defense up considerably and his evasion up. Cool. Oh, we could have given it to Lemmy actually. Yeah. Take that off. Let's give it to Lemmy. It's not a huge boost for Lemmy, and now you can have Lemmy's old cloak. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Is that the last one of those chests in here? Here yeah, we've got all the red chests now, cool. No more green or purple apparently, even though I know there's a purple downstairs. Or am I looking at the right location? Hang on. Yeah, the Vault of Tears. No, I wasn't on the vault. Uh, no, never mind. We've got all the greens though apparently. That was only the one. There's still blue, still red and still purple. Back. Yeah, I'm still nixed from before. 